Hi there, it's Cynthia here. Take control and be happy every day. Today, I'm in my pharmacist outfit because we'll be talking about drugs and medication. And today, the topic that we're going to talk about is does weight losing pills actually work? If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's rock it. While I work as a pharmacist in a pharmacy, many people often come in for weight losing pills. There are so many types of weight losing pills out there. How do you know which weight losing pills actually work? The answer to that is many of them doesn't work and there's a lot of evolution going in the pharmacy industry so new medication often comes up to the market. The only way to keep track to it is directly ask the pharmacist. Now there's this pharmacist secret that I have to tell you. Often they can be conflict of interest. The pharmacist on one hand have to sell you the product to make more money out of you, but on the other hand, they are abide by laws to give you accurate information. Now fortunately, most pharmacists are very, very ethical people. They take information accuracy very, very seriously. So if you ask them directly, they have to tell you the truth. The many weight losing products that you see in the pharmacy or online does not have scientific evidence that they actually work. Any businessman can put chalk together and claim it's a weight losing product. As long as it doesn't kill you, they can actually sell it to you. Now, in other words, many of the weight losing products that you see on the market are mere placebo effect product or containing ingredients that has very, very weak scientific evidence behind it. When I say weak scientific evidence, it means that only certain, a very small portion of people find it working and many people don't. Now you might be paying for something that is totally useless or wasting your money. However, for running a pharmacy business, as long as it's not poisonous, pharmacist owners can still stock those products and many, many of them do. Now my mentor, home as a pharmacy owner, tells me to tell patients the facts and the truth about placebo effects and the lacking in scientific evidence of the products. And if the customer still wants to buy them, we sell it to them. After all, placebo effects can work really well for some people. The goal is to lose weight. If it works for them, of course we sell it to them. Now for some of you who doesn't know what placebo effect means, it means that a product doesn't have the actual ingredient that works but it claims to be able to treat a certain condition. And the user believes the claim so much that it resulted to the condition being treated. And this is called the placebo effect. In other words, if you give someone a bottle of water and put weight losing labels on it, and the person uses it, and they actually see results from it, that's a placebo effect. Now the real reason why they lose weight has nothing to do with the bottle of water but it comes from other means like exercising and dieting. But they give credit to the bottle of water. So, how do you know which pills work and which doesn't? Ask the pharmacist directly. Ask them, could you please give me a weight losing pill that actually work scientifically? Bypass all the shop assistants, bypass all the dispensing technicians and go directly to the pharmacist. Otherwise, they might be selling you a placebo effect product. Now, there are two medical grade weight losing products that are often prescribed by pharmacists and doctors. These two products have successfully gone through strong evidence-based studies and have been proven that they actually work. One is Orlistat. The trade name for it is Seneca or Ali, 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 wherever you are, you might call it differently. And the other one is Phentermine. And the trade name for Phentermine is Adipax P, Duramine, Machermine, Zeprenza, and so on. Now all this medication, you can't get it anywhere else other than a proper pharmacy. But if you could get it anywhere else, like over the internet, which I actually see them floating around, I would highly suggest that please don't buy it through those sources. Number one, it's because there's a lot of consideration that you have to take before you take them. And this has to be assessed by a professional doctor or pharmacist. 
things to take into consideration are like your blood pressure, your heart condition, your mental health condition, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, if you're taking any other medication, the side effects that comes with the medication, and many, many more. So it's not something that you actually self-prescribe and medicate yourself with at home. Now, number two is the quality of the product. Have you heard about the China's fake baby milk formula that killed many, many babies? Yes, they claim it as a baby formula, but in actual fact, it's white poison. So buying medication from unknown sources can be very, very dangerous. You couldn't tell what is in a the pill. They can claim it to be whatever they want, but it may not be what they claim it to be. So you wouldn't want to risk it. Now, if you want to know more about Orlistat and Fentamine, I will be making videos about them and I will also put a link down below for you. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. I would really appreciate it and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have used any weight losing pills and if it works for you. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to cover any other drugs or medications. Well, it's Sunki here. Take control and be happy every day with lots of love. See you next time. Bye-bye.